number seven of our portfolio talks about reduced scale drawings. For reference, we talked about full scale drawings on slide six, and that is when our drawing is the exact same size as our picture, as our real life object. Reduced scale drawings, slide seven, means that our drawing is going to be smaller than our object is in real life. So maybe we have something that is larger than a piece of paper, but we still want to draw it out and represent what it's going to look like. A great example of things that are typically drawn at a reduced scale are things like bridges, buildings, and houses. I'm willing to bet that most of our homes are larger than a single sheet of paper. So in order to draw what they're going to look like, we draw them at a reduced scale. So our drawing is smaller than the actual house itself. If we were to draw this at full scale, that piece of paper would need to be massive and that's super impractical. So instead, we draw at a reduced scale and that's how we get things like floor plans. When we're doing reduced scale drawings, it is pretty common that you will see a ratio. We might remember from math class that a ratio is one number, a colon, which is each two dots, and then another number. And this ratio tells us how many parts on paper represent how many parts in real life. So for this particular reduced scale, this one to two scale, it could tell us that one inch on paper represents two feet in real life. So if we were drawing a house that was 15 feet long on paper, we would represent that as 7.5 inches. Now, just because that particular example is inches to feet doesn't mean it's always going to be that way. Typically, though not always, in engineering class, when we see one to two as our ratio, we're going to mean one inch on paper represents two inches in real life. When it's the same unit like that, we could also call it a one half scale, meaning that our drawing is going to be exactly half of the object's real life size. So for this example, I'm going to take something, in this case my cell phone, and we are going to draw it at a reduced scale. Now if I'm doing some rough measurements of my cell phone, it's not going to be perfectly accurate, but rough measurement all the way across is going to be three inches. Rough measurement top to bottom is about six. And I'm going to start by drawing this at a one to two or one half scale. So taking a look at those numbers, instead of actually drawing out a three inch rectangle, I'm going to represent that as 1.5 and three. From there, it's just the same principles as the first rectangle we drew. We're going to pick a spot on our graph paper and start making our measurements. So I know that instead of drawing a line that is three inches long, because that's the true size, I'm going to take half of that and draw my line to be one and a half inches. Then for the height, instead of doing the true height of six inches, I'm looking at half of that, which is three. And as a general shape, my phone is a rectangle. So there we go. So that right there is a reduced scale drawing of my phone. This drawing is one half the size of my phone. So one inch on my paper represents two inches here in real life. 
Now, another common reduced scale that we'll see is going to be one to four. Again, it could mean different units. And especially if you're thinking about floor plans and architectural drawings, this could mean that one inch in or on our paper represents four feet in real life. So if we were drawing a building that was 20 feet, it would be represented by five inches. So with this, again, in engineering class, one way that we will normally view this, again, not always, is that one inch on our paper is equal to four inches in real life. We can also say that this is a one-fourth scale. So taking my original measurements and breaking them down even further, one-fourth of my three-inch measurement, my original true size, is going to be 0.75 inches, which is three-fourths. And one-fourth of my true size, six inches, is one and one-half. So I can go ahead, measure, and draw that out. You can see that my drawing of this one was a little bit less accurate. This is where it would be really nice to have drawn in pencil so I can erase that little squiggly bit there at the end. But this is a one-fourth scale drawing of my phone. Either way, we have taken an object in real life and drawn it as a smaller version. So that is an example of our reduced scale drawing.